How's it going everybody? This is Yusuf and welcome to my show. Today we are going back to a very hearty food, one of the uh, delicious Persian dish which is belonged to north of Iran by Caspian Sea and that's a kebab torch or sour kebab which is kebab with a little bit of the sourness from the pomegranate and makes a huge difference. So we are going over the ingredients with you and start making it. Let's start from the meat that I <clears throat> usually I make this food with a back strap or filet mignon but there was not available so I asked my butcher what is the best for this kebab he recommended me Tres Major which I look at in my uh, telephone and I find out is a, as tender as filet mignon so I purchased that it's about the one kilogram or a little bit more than a two pounds and here I have 125 gram of walnut which we have to ground it this is a pomegranate molasses so I actually I had the molasses from pomegranate in our tree that I made it if you see it's very thick so I have to just mix it with the pomegranate juice and I made this which is about like a uh, I believe is a 250 gram of molasses and I have some liquid saffron quarter of the cup cooking oil or olive oil one teaspoon black pepper one teaspoon salt I have two onion and four cloves of garlic this is 60 gram of the herbs including the parsley basil and a mint which is very close to what they make it in Iran they have a special herb that I can find it here but these are very very close to the herbs that they make this food with so let's go start with cutting our meat then onion and uh, herbs and mix them together let's do it actually it's a thickness area it seems is very right and as I cut it I feel the tenderness on this meat so this should be the size that should be cut it some of them might be a little bit thick that we adjusted when I just want to just put it in a skewer or maybe right now like this one is seems is too thick so I'm just cutting it in a half some of them other than that it looks pretty good all right I have to put this in a big bowl and uh, start putting the rest of the ingredients in together and the next thing that I have to do is cutting our onion so because these are all go together so I don't have to wash my hand at this time all right <clears throat> our onion is cut before I add the onion to our meat I have to add I rather to add our saffron because if I add onion or rest of the thing mostly goes to the rest of the ingredients I want the meat gets all the goodness out of the saffron so I mix them together okay from here then is going to be the rest of the ingredients that it goes together here at the onion and I'm gonna chop the garlic also so I have to chop the I rather to do this with the garlic 
is much easier for me. And so after this, I should go and wash my hand and chop our walnut. Before the walnut, let's chop our veggies, I mean the herbs. They have such a wonderful aroma. And these are gonna go into the meat and that's why it makes the kebab so delicious. Okay, our herbs are chopped very well and very fine. So these are gonna go to the, our bowl also. All right, with the salt, pepper, and let's go and uh, chop our walnut also. All right, <clears throat> that's enough. Before I add this also, I want to massage this a little bit. Let me put my gloves on. Okay. Let me massage a little bit with all these ingredients together, which uh, get the little bit juice out of the onion and the herbs goes to meat. Okay, so at this time, I add the molasses. Okay, because this meat is so lean, that's why we have to add the little bit of the oil, either cooking oil or olive oil. And also it's a thyme. All right. Oil should go in there too. And the last ingredients is our walnuts. Okay, you, I don't think anywhere you can find this kebab except in Iran. And that's originated from, as I said, north of Iran. And it has so much demand. People, the people travel there, all the restaurants are there, over there. They serve this as one of their major, major food for all travelers. All right, as you see, all the ingredients all together and is ready to go to the uh, refrigerator and stay for at least 12 hours to overnight. So I'm gonna do that and I see you tomorrow. Hi again. It has been about 24 hours that you know our meat has been marinated enough so I could have done this sooner but didn't have a time for it so this is the right time so I was busy for some other thing now as you might be able to see it's been sitting in a fridge for almost 24 hours now it's the time to put it on a skewer and we are going to do it so all right we try to take the all the onion off of it because you, otherwise it's going to burn so fast and then go to the skewer 
like this easy and like always the grilled uh, tomato it good goes with any kind of kebab so I also prepared three tomatoes to skewer them and make grilled together with my kebab these are a little than bigger than what I usually do but because of the shape of the meat I didn't want to just uh, do any other way yeah, otherwise it would be too small too okay like tomato the rice is always is something that it goes with the kebab we uh, usually have the all my kebab served with the rice and I'm not gonna go to show you how to make it because I do have a, a video about how to make rice so you can look uh, in my videos and you'll see how to make the rice yeah it's fortunately it's not like a kebab kubide so we don't have to have any special skill it's very easy to put it on a skewer some of them uh, sizes were too big so I had to cut them down in a half so is there, these are a good size right now okay I'm done with this curing the kebab and also tomato and uh, ready for grilling if you remember I said this meat is being recommended by my butcher because I couldn't uh, they didn't have the meat that I want and I hope it's going to be as tender as he told me so I will let you know after we finish with the grilling okay guys our meat is ready and with the grilled tomato sabze khordan which is a herb that uh, we mostly they we using it in our food and is a uh, relish uh, basil and uh, mint with the rice and some of those butter that we put it on rice mix it and eat it with the meat this this meat actually it turned out so well so next to the filet mignon and back strap i recommend this one also okay guys thank you very much for watching my video i hope you make this dish and let me know what you think till next time bye